that is Yuna. It brings together Ugandans, most of them in diaspora, in North America. Now again we have the Ma Ma uh, Bamasaba Cultural Association. Yes. Throw more light to that. Yes. Uh, Bamasaba Cultural Association is an NGO, mm. which is it's a cultural NGO which is registered in, Uga in the USA mm -hmm. and uh, <coughs> Uganda. Mm -hmm. we, are the, we are a group of Bagisu who are in the diaspora and uh, networking together for the good of hope. Mm. Yes. Okay, networking together for the good of hope. Now, this time around, you're having a convention. Uh, what are you targeting? Yeah, the, one, the biggest thing we are targeting as a North American Masala Cultural Association is uh, networking, uh, bringing, joining our, ourselves together for the good of, of, of Ugisu sub-region. And uh, the and the and those who subscribe to the Gisu sub region, uh, sorry, to Bama Sava uh, culture session objectives. Mm. Well, this is a very good year for the uh, for uh, people from the Gisu land, yes. Bama Sava. Yes. <laughs> and when I talk about a happy year, well, our viewers, this is uh, the year of circumcision, yes. and I believe around August. Yes, August, yes. August, August that is yeah. when uh, it is the official time, and usually this is a very big function. So let's uh, understand this convention. What is it all about? Are we going to have these also? So, because that is a function that even our VIPs grace, actually, yes, yes. from Uganda and Kenya as well. Yes. Uh, one of the biggest uh, um, a reason we celebrate together is, you know, Pamasawa, we... We value culture a lot. Culture is the key. So we we have uh, projects that we are running around with the, uh, with the people in the diaspora and the home. One of the biggest reason why we are gathering for this convention is we are having a we are having a, a resource center, a digital resource center, which is going to be built behind the court, where you are in court, uh, um, Uganda court. In Yugisu, we have bought land there, and we are doing the fundraising, fundraising for this uh, building. Uh, why we are doing this is because Yugisu Mbale is a matter of the of uh, seven districts of Yugisu sub-region and other districts which feed on Mbale, like Karamoja region, and Mbale is a is a, is a commercial center for the biggest part of eastern Uganda. So we are doing this for the, uh, for the livelihood of Bagisu and the people who are just close to Bagisu. Yes. Is this an annual convention? Are you marking some sort of uh, maybe years? Are you commemorating? Yes. Yes, it's, uh, it is always an annual, mm -hmm. but now this time we are, we are remembering our achievements in the 20 years. We started in 2001, now we are making uh, 20 years in existence, legal existence. What have been some of these uh, achievements that you could be proud of as an association yes. away from feasting, meeting, and discussing life back home? Yes, one of the, uh, the things we have made is we have formed the women of women groups where we have uh, financing for the women in small entrepreneur groups where we give them some money to start up the business then uh, uh, to catch up and give money to another person I don't know how they call it in. yes so and also we it's we kind will, of a rotation yes, of fund yes it's a rotation of mm -hmm. fund that is given to the to the women in this sub region so now also we have uh, we, we were able to provide the, the pediatric uh, bed sheets to bed beds to do the hospital. Uh, we were able to also give the pre, the computers to Manafa districts and a few other things that we have also made. But um, uh, among us all, we have we have been acting as a center of unity for the Bagisu in the diaspora and the Bagisu back home. Talk about Bagisu in the diaspora, let's look, uh, how big is this, an estimate of membership? Yeah, an estimate, we are around 5,000 Bagisu, 
who are those who are already identified uh, around 5,000. But the why we we have it as North America Masaba Culture Association is because the biggest population of the Vagisu in the diaspora are in the North America, that is the uh, USA, Mexico, uh, and Canada. Very interesting. Now, uh, this convention also let's better understand is it home base is it going to be in no, uh, in the United States of America? How are you going to have this bridge between those home okay. feeling part of that and those uh, in the diaspora? Yeah, this time we have had to 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 have this celebration in the in the North America, US USA, Texas, the South Lake Hotel. And we, why we are doing this is because we are trying to engage the, the partners in the U.S. with, the, with us, the stakeholders in the sub-region. And we have tried, we, this time we have decided to at least select a few stakeholders. We are not identifying everyone to come, to, to come for this. We have identified the 25 MPs in the sub-region and uh, three MPs who are outside the sub-region. Yes. Very interesting, of course, when we see our brothers in diaspora still having love and a feel for home. And one says being far away from home does not mean you're not home. The heart is there, the body isn't. So this is a very good example when we see our brothers the Bama Saba in North America coming together form this association, but most importantly to see that it's not only about meeting, eating, drinking, but sending something, a tangible home. When he talks about uh, financial assistance to the women there in Bama Saba land, giving them some fund, which is in form of a rotational fund, to develop them, that is something really uh, worth it. And now they're going to be marking 20 years of existence, that is as the North America Bama Saba Culture Association, and of course we believe that this will greatly uh, help many uh, in terms of uh, not only being exemplary, uh, but also economically transforming the Zippo. Now I also want to look at how this is going to be done. Uh, is it uh, membership only? Or the Bama Saba in North America, are they going to be part of this? Then also, yes, you've talked about uh, 25 members of parliament. But the biggest question is, what then do we expect? Conversions have happened. Uh, here in Uganda, it's not uh, something new. Always the Uganda North American uh, Association has met. The last time that was before COVID, even government gave in a lot of money. We saw MPs going to attend UNA. But the biggest question remains, what do we benefit? Yes. Yeah, when with us, the North America Masaba Culture Association, we have our own uh, objectives that we stand for. And we, we have uh, where the Bagisu benefit from and also the people from near the Vugis sub-region benefit from is that uh, we, we have, we have uh, a lot of projects that are already uh, being take, taken care of and also we have, uh, we have tr decided to, this time we have decided to, to do the networking. We are, going, we are engaging the, the mayor of Dallas, in Texas, to come and meet the mayors. Then we are also inviting the, the, the the members of parliament that side to also meet the members and uh, we have the the we have invited the the the, the christian sorry the uh, religious leaders that is the mufti and our two bishops and other few religious leaders to also connect with them why we are doing this is because we are trying to widen the our network of uh, uh, in the development because you know as you're aware everyone has his own need and uh, we we have the people in the religious sector who have their need to meet the, the, the need of the population we have the political leaders who are also doing a very great job to serve the nation and the other people mm -hmm. so um, we we are not going to invite everyone mm -hmm. for this convention we're inviting a few people whom we feel are going to get back home and add value to the society.
Mm -hmm. Very interesting. What is your proximity to government or how are you working with government? You know, most of the times people in diaspora have been termed as mm -hmm. in one way or the other. Yes. Some yes. are trouble causes. Yes, yes, yes. So the Bama Saba mm -hmm. Culture Association North America. Yes. How are you working with government and even this convention? Are you seeing government and are there some projects or are there some tangibles that you can talk about that we've been able to work with government or government has aided us here? Mm -hmm. How is that relationship? Yeah, one is that the government gives UNA mm -hmm. money that, uh, to the people in the diaspora and mm -hmm. the UNA being the head. Mm. of the Just the Uganda North American yes. Association. Uh, splits that money to the mm. the associations mm. where uh, the Magisu in the diaspora also benefit. That one is a it's a it's a it's a rope that join us together as a Bagisu and the government. And we really appreciate that government recognizes us as a Bagisu in the diaspora. Mm. Yes. Very interesting government uh, looking after people in diaspora. But as we conclude, uh, let me get your final remarks regarding this convention and of course to the Bagisu Moso in this interesting year where we are going to see the Embalu or the cultural event of circumcision. Hmm. Now, Embalu is very important. And that is very, very important. And we have, uh, uh, after this convention, we are going to have a lot of things which are going to be discussed about the, the imbalance of circumcision in, a, in August. And we, uh, maybe just to tell the listeners that uh, this the convention is not only for Bagisu, this convention is uh, for all the people who are Bagisu and the non Bagisu. If I can look at the, my list, because I'm the one who identified the people who are going. I can see almost 50 percent have a gisu and 50 percent are non bagisu. So we bagisu, we are, we in our session we work as a point of unity to the people outside bagisu and within us bagisu. So this is the year. This is a very important year in the sub region, and we are preparing, preparing as a bagisu to come and do the celebration. Mm together with the people from the diaspora and within us. I want to thank you so much. That is Humphrey Kuriate, who is uh, a member of the North American Masaba Culture Association. And of course, their convention is just on the way uh, to bring together people from this land, uh, both in diaspora and many will be leaving Uganda. The selected few will be leaving Uganda to be part of this convention. Just hope you have the best. And of course, uh, this may also transform both the people in uh, the Gisu land, but also our country economically and also socially. Well, earlier we told you that our team will be giving you events as they unfold uh, regarding the function that is going to happen today at Kose Mwogor Grounds, right from Parliament, where the casket containing the body will be driven to ceremonial grounds in Korolo, and we expect the Chief Mona to be His Excellency. Anytime from now, we'll be handing you over to that team. And of course, we know many are at Parliament, and all the way to Korolo, you'll be having uh, those images, those videos, and of course, finally, when the function starts, we will be there. I just want to wish you a lovely day, and of course, to remind you that whatever we say at this particular time, as Ugandans, let be let's be patriotic. Let's be very, very mindful of the power and the impact of the tongue. Have a lovely day. When COVID came, it felt like it destroyed everything my mom had built. 
she was ready to let go of her dreams. But when one door shuts, a window opens. She grabbed her last command and took a leap of faith. She refused to give up. So with a bit of daring and grandma's secret recipe, her business was back. And not just bigger. Beyond her wildest imagination. This is a story of a regular Ugandan just like you, who harnessed the power of technology to provide a solution for us. How about you tell us your story? UG needs more of you. To share your story, visit airtel.co.ug slash UG needs more of you or call or SMS 162. Airtel, the smartphone network. It's no secret that ICT makes learning easy. The strides made in our field couldn't be possible without it. And now we can watch our favorite show. Ah, my radio is my best friend. UCC provides an enabling regulatory environment and policy guidance for healthy competition. We also facilitate ease of doing business in the communications sector through licensing, standardization, spectrum management, tariff regulation, rural communication development and consumer empowerment. An informed consumer is an empowered consumer. UCC supports local content and innovations. Driving the development of a robust communication sector in Uganda is Uganda Communications Commission. When you talk about our motherland Uganda, the Pearl of Africa, you cannot fail to smile because of the smile that fills the faces of the citizens. Our nice good weather and nature that sustains us all, that enables us all to continue each in their own way because we are all different even according to each individual's work. But what joins us to become one person is the sweetness from the flavored drink Alleluia Jinga Tea Drink and Alleluia Tamarind Drink. The flavor that quenches your thirst while at the same time treating and healing your body because it is 100% natural. Enjoy the drink that has got the tamarind juice in it. Made by Alleluia Reflexology, Healthy Solutions and Nutritional Research Center Limited. Get yourself a bottle of Alleluia from all shops around. When COVID came, it felt like it destroyed everything my mom had built. She was ready to let go of her dreams. But when one door shuts, a window opens. She grabbed her last command and took a leap of faith. She refused to give up. So with a bit of daring and grandma's secret recipe, her business was back. And not just bigger. Beyond her wildest imagination, this is a story of a regular Ugandan just like you, who harnessed the power of technology to provide a solution for us. How about you tell us your story? UG needs more of you. To share your story, visit airtel.co.ug slash UG needs more of you or call or SMS 162. Airtel, the smartphone network. It's no secret. Kusa Judas has been a cassava farmer for a while, and this affords him some experience in the commercial cassava growth, but his meeting the government program implemented by NADS started to make a greater difference to his cassava enterprise. I received a new variety from NADS, which is called NASA 14, and uh, whereby I have proved that NASA 14 is doing very well because it is maturing at six months old, between six to eight. It does not mean that after six months or eight, it expires or it rots or it gets spoiled. It continues maybe to an extent of two years or three years. 
I have been dealing with this variety and I have proved it to be more better than the other one. And now I have decided to expand. For farmers like Judas, depending on other household needs, portions of the harvest are sought after by traders who prefer to sell the cassava fresh in the market. Judas plans to replant the cassava after he harvests from his 16 acres. And now my plan is, I'm planning to wait this younger stage cassava, the, the plantation which is still young, to mature. Then I harvest once because what I have proved at least in an acre, you can get a minimum of at least 40 sacks. When I harvest the whole of my plantation, the whole garden of my cassava, I'm expecting to be in 600 sacks of bags, which I'm expecting to harvest once. I have done so many things. I have bought land to expand my agriculture. I have managed to construct at least a residential house with seven bedrooms self-contained, sitting room, dining, and everything there. I have my children with my wife. We have